Hi, join me in a second. We'll do something a bit different in the workshop. Hi, I'm David and this is Tommy. He's our nine week old kitten. So I just thought I'd introduce him to you. So today we're going to take a look at this. A couple of weeks ago I got this internal combustion engine. So it was a bargain from a charity shop, uh, only £7.50. And I see that these are about £40 on the internet. But today I'm going to build that. Tommy wants to go and explore, so we'll let him escape and we'll get on. So before I get on making this, I did uh, warm up by doing a small build, a present from my daughter and her boyfriend. I'll just quickly show you that. everything I checked with this manual that all the parts are there and all the parts are there and none of them have been opened either so that's brilliant I will put time lapse on some of it there is a pack there the motor so all this when it's together you can see through it and uh, have it sort of moving so you can see how a combustion engine works so it'll be lighting up like as if it's a spark plugs firing in, in the cylinders and such like. I can hear... <laughs> Tommy's climbing up the door frame. So he's come back. Tommy's just checking out the parts. Make sure we've got everything. Are we okay? Okay, let's get on. So what you see was me fitting the connecting rods to the pistons with the good gym pins. So I've got them together. So now we're just fitting these to the crankshaft. I'm using these snips, these are what came with the 3D printer, but you can buy them off the internet. They're really good for cutting plastic, that's mainly what they're for. What I'm up to here, put a spring on the valve stem, pushing them through the through here and then fitting the and then fitting the bottom of the valve on. So these are the exhaust ones at the minute.
So what I'm on with now is fitting this rocker assembly onto the top here. So just got to make sure I get them the rockers in position on top of the valves. fitting the timing belt but we've got to sort the timing out so we've got this timing alignment tool that's with the kit as well Got it together so I'll show it running in a minute so it's got little lights that are spark plugs up the top here and like I showed you, you got to do set up the timing to get it right You've got a distributor on there where you can turn these to change the timing dipstick that's not very handy because it hasn't got any oil in it. But yeah, that's cool because you can see how it works. So we put the timing belt on in there and then we've got the fan belt here. This is what controls it. So there's two AA batteries in there and then it's got this lead off to power the motor that makes it run. And then this one that goes off to all the spark plugs or the light bulbs. So you press this button and it just makes it run for five seconds at a time. It is a bit noisy. So let's get it going. So if I go down under there, we should be able to see the spark plugs on the firing stroke. So I've got the timing set up a bit better now. the valves and everything that moves in the top so you've got your exhaust valve and your inlet valve and then it comes up on the compression stroke and then fires to go back down again so I know it was a bit of a strange video today but we'll be back to normal next time I just thought I'd show this just in case it was uh, of interest to anybody. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you follow along. And 
I'll see you next time in the workshop. Take care.